it does get messy when you make these guys. Okay, don't judge me. It's not it's not me. It's it's the thing. It's it's gimpa. Maybe it is me a little bit. I am a little bit of a messy person. So. Welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. So today guys, I'm so excited because we're going back to my childhood, okay? We are making the food from my childhood. We are making kimbap. So kimbap is Korean seaweed rice rolls. Now some people might refer to this as Korean sushi. Now I am not allowed to do that as a Korean, okay? That is not allowed, okay? We're gonna call this kimbap because that's what it is. It's not Korean sushi. Although I have called it Korean sushi before because you know, it's just easier to explain, but still, let's keep it. Let's just, let's let's call it what it is. It's kimbap. And actually the direct translation is seaweed rice. Kimbap. Kim is seaweed, bap is rice. Seaweed, rice. There you go, there's your Korean lesson you never asked for. So today you guys, I wanna try making five different kinds of vegan kimpa. Yes, my friends, I'm very excited because there isn't enough out there. There isn't enough vegan, maybe there is, I don't know. Anyway, I do have a vegan kimpa recipe in my Everyday Asian Recipes ebook. So definitely check that out, which is linked down below. That one is a little bit more of like a traditional take on kimbap, but obviously still vegan. So today I'm gonna show you guys, I don't know, some random ideas that I have. So yeah, here we go. Let's get started, okay. First off, we need to make the rice. Now this is one of the main differences between sushi and kimbap, okay? So the way that the rice is seasoned and made is a little bit different. So I have some sushi rice here. So you do wanna use sushi rice or short grain rice, okay? Because if you use like long grain, it just doesn't stick. So you need to use like Korean or Japanese rice or sushi rice or short grain rice. That's what you need. So I have some cooked rice over here. If you need a rice cooker, I'll link mine down below. Anyways, I have basically three quarter cup times five because I want to try making five rolls and I think each roll is gonna be approximately three quarter cups of cooked sushi rice. So that's my approximation, but I'll let you know. Okay, this is a cook with me video. I don't have recipes. So we're gonna add, first of all, the most important ingredient, which is changirim. This is toasted sesame oil. So this is what you need when you wanna make some delicious kimbap, okay? We're gonna do one teaspoon per every three quarter cup of rice, okay? Mm -hmm. Four, five. Most of the time when you're making this, you just eyeball it, which is totally fine. And I realize I don't have a mixer. Okay, so oof, it's already smelling so nice. <laughs> Guys, you need toasted sesame oil in your life. It is so good. So, oh, another thing is that you wanna use like warm rice rather than like cold rice, okay? So it should be like warm. And then I am going to add some salt. Just eyeball it guys, okay? Just pinches of salt. Okay, that's my way of measuring. So another difference between sushi and kimbap is that kimbap is more savory rather than um, sweet. Sushi, the rice is made with like vinegar and sugar and stuff like that, whereas kimbap is a little bit more savory. There you go, oof. When I was young, I would just put like a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of tangirum with rice and just mix it and just eat it like that because it's so good. All right, so rice is ready. Now we're gonna make our first kimbap. All right, you guys, so the first one I wanna try making is gonna be a chickpea kimchi kimbap, okay? So in Korea, the kimchi kimbap is very popular and also like tuna kimbap is really popular. So I thought, hey, why not use the uh, plant-based version of tuna chickpeas? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What do they call it? They call it like the tuna of the, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take a food processor and I'm just gonna mash the chickpeas in the food processor along with like a small amount of onions. Okay, by the way, if you need measurements for everything, I'll link down below. Anyways, so onion and chickpeas. And we're just going to just pulse it a couple times. All right, so now we have this beautiful mixture of um, chickpea and onion, okay? Maybe a little bit of oil on the pan. It's already heated up pretty nicely. And now I'm going to add this on here, ooh. Okay, and along with this, you guys, of course, we're making kimchi chickpea thing. So I have this old, like, very well-fermented kimchi here. I'm gonna add in a bit of that along with some of the juices. But I'm just gonna cook it until the kimchi kind of like cooks a little bit, just letting the kimchi cook. Alternatively, you could just cook the kimchi first and then just add in the 
the chickpeas and onions as well. It's up to you. I just thought I'd cook it all together. So I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. Little bit of salt. All right, so now that we've uh, cooked our kimchi and um, our chickpeas, I'm just gonna put it into a bowl. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of vegan mayo. Ooh, so we're gonna mix this. Mmm, okay, now we're ready to roll. All right, now one of the key ingredients that we love to use in kimbap is pickled radishes. This is Korean pickled radish, AKA tammuji. So you can buy these in the Korean supermarket or Asian supermarket. They're also like bright yellow if you are looking for them. Um, but I heard the bright yellow ones are not good for you. So I tried to get the not bright yellow ones. So I just like cut these into thin slices. I, mean, I don't really know if there's like a method to this, okay? Like this is, this is what you're looking for, okay? So you just want like a bunch of these because we're gonna be probably using this in like every single one because these are kind of like crucial for kimbap and it just makes it taste so good. So I'm just gonna cut this up and then we can roll. All right guys, so now I've chopped up or sliced up these pickled radishes. Okay, this is what you are looking for. So now we can roll. So you don't need one of these, but these are convenient to have, the little rolling mats, like sushi rolling mats. So I'm gonna use it, but you don't need it, okay? You can still make sushi without, okay? And then of course, you need some nori sheets or kim. You can find this in Asian section of most supermarkets or in your Asian supermarket. And they usually have like a rough side and a softer side, like a smoother side. I'm gonna use the rough side for the inside. And by the way, I'm not an expert in this, so if I mess up, don't laugh at me. So one thing you wanna have beside you is a little bowl of water because things get sticky. Okay, so I did buy these like food gloves, okay? But you don't need this. Anyways, so I'm gonna take three quarter cup of cooked rice. This is already mixed in with that lovely sesame. I wonder if three quarter cup is enough. I think it is. Maybe one cup actually. Hmm. Guys, my measurements were wrong. Cross everything I said before. Okay, so I mean around three quarter cup, but maybe a little more. So we got it flattened. We want to leave a little space at the top there because we want to seal the deal. So now we're just going to add in. Huh, okay. Again, this is a lot more mushy than I had envisioned, but that's okay. It still tastes good. There's our little kimchi chickpea mixture. And now we can add in our pickled radish. I'm going to add in like two. Ooh, and now we're ready to roll. This one's pretty simple. But now again, what, I, what you want to do is like roll it all the way covering everything okay it's like a blanket you're putting a blanket over and trust me guys like if i can do this like anyone can do this okay and at the end here you want to take a little bit of that water and then just make a little simple easy walk in the park <gasps> look at this it's beautiful and then one thing you could do to make it look all nice and shiny take a little bit of that sesame oil just do that okay final touch you don't have to do this part, you really don't, but it um, makes it look kind of like more profesh. Kind of falls everywhere though, so I don't know. Okay, now let's cut it, cause like this is like, this is how you know if you made it properly, if it like cuts properly. So again, I like to wet the knife just a little bit, like just dampen it, it makes it easier to cut. This part, don't know man, the end. Ooh. Okay, the end is always, you know, I always eat the ends when I, um, ooh, you know what? I think it might've worked, I don't know, let's try it. Mm. Guys, it worked. Look at this. I'm sorry, but oh, some parts it might. Um, I feel like my knife needs to, needs to be sharpened a little bit. So make sure you use a sharp knife. Here you go. That's how you make uh, kimbap number one. This is vegan chickpea kimchi kimbap. Yay! It's actually very tasty. But that's how you make it, guys. Now the second kimbap recipe, I'm gonna make a little bit more of a traditional kimbap. So I'm gonna cut up some carrots. So first I cut it like diagonally, like, like so, like into coins, but thinly, okay? Okay, and then you take these pieces, and now you take a few, stack them, you cut it like so, into long, thin pieces. But again, if this is difficult, 
literally you can just use a julienne peeler and just get like long pieces like so. I'm just gonna cut these and I'll see you in a bit. One carrot. Okay, beautiful. What I want to do with this one, I'm making a more traditional kimbap, but I want to make a... Um, oh, I just got an idea. <laughs> Give me a moment. I want to make some like Korean... <sighs> brain fart. Guys, my brain is going... It's going crazy. So what I want to do is make like a vegan Korean meat sort of thing, okay? Like a bulgogi. I have these soy curls here that I've soaked. If you guys don't know, soy curls are basically like, like vegan meat that you can put seasonings in to marinate and then it's like very meaty and delicious and whatever. I'm gonna add in some soy sauce. Just gonna use this small little bit of vegan mayo on there, that's okay. Some ginger, okay? Ground ginger is fine, I'm being lazy. Little bit of sesame oil, of course. This is like our crack, you know, like sesame oil. Okay, and a little bit of sugar, okay? This is a very lazy version. So we're gonna mix this, and that's gonna be a protein. Now you don't have to do this, you can use like smoked tofu, you can use whatever you'd like, but I'm just using this. Let me just try it. Yeah, fantastic. So the vision I just had, guys, is adding some just egg. I have this just egg patty thing that I think I can add into the kimbap because in Korean kimbap, usually there's like an egg. If you want, you can just use just egg. You don't have to, but I have it, so I might as well. This is an option. I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil and I'm gonna start off by cooking up the carrots, just lightly, okay? And then I like to like add a little, I'm just gonna use this dirty contaminated water here. It was soy curls, okay? Just a little bit of water to quicken the cooking process because I am lazy. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, just like a little pinch, you know? A tiny bit of the lovely toasted sesame oil. Uh-huh. We're gonna set that aside. And then the second thing, now, this isn't the best way to make this. You're supposed to blanch this, but I'm lazy. So we're just gonna take some spinach. We're just gonna stir fry it. Shh, don't tell my mom. So you don't wanna overcook this too much. Once again, we're gonna add in a little bit of salt. Now we can add, again, a little bit of that sesame oil. Beauty, I think we can set this aside now. Now we can cook up our soy curls, which have been marinating a little bit. Now I heard you can get now the the liquid version of Just Egg in Canada. So that's pretty exciting. I haven't seen it yet, but I will look for it. But again, you don't need to add the Just Egg, that's just an option, okay? Just Egg, if you don't know, is a vegan alternative to egg. So I'm just gonna cook this up a little bit and just let this golden up a little bit and then we can roll, woohoo! All right guys, so as you can see here, I think we've achieved what we wanted to achieve. And I'm very excited about this just egg thing. So there we go. Now I'm gonna set this aside. All right guys, so now once again, we have the rolling thing and we also have the seaweed. Now we're gonna dump our rice. The rice is um, cooled down a little bit, which makes it a little bit harder to work with, but that's okay. With kimbap, you can really do whatever you want, okay? Don't let anybody, including myself, tell you what to do. This is like street food. This is like to-go food. This is like Korean version of a sandwich, okay? We're gonna add in our Spinach, which definitely I didn't make it the proper way, but that's okay. It'll still do the job. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Am I adding too much? Should be okay. We're also gonna add, ooh, I forgot to cut this up. God, I'm such a mess. Why do you guys watch me? <laughs> Why do you watch my videos when I'm such a mess? Okay. So we're gonna add some of this just egg. Ooh, look, that looks legit. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Who needs egg when you got just egg? Not sponsored, by the way. If they want to sponsor me, give me a call. Okay. So now we can add in this soy curl meat. Now we have our lovely carrots. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> I'm notorious for overfilling like everything. So there's that. And now you can't forget the tammuzi, pickled radish. I'm just gonna add one big fat one. Oh, you guys pray for me. I don't know if it's gonna work. So you just kind of want to hold on to it and just try to get it, wrap it. It might explode. 
Oh, no! Okay, let's see what I can do here. Might work. So I forgot to put water on the bottom, but I can put a little now. And sometimes with just the heat of the rice alone, it'll glue itself together. Anyway, I feel like this might work. It does get messy when you make these guys. Okay, don't judge me. It's not It's not me. It's it's the thing. It's, it's gimpa. Maybe it is me a little bit. I am a little bit of a messy person, so. My friends, this is what I call art. This is art. Watch it breaks. <laughs> so just cut it gently. Gently. Might break, but that's okay. I'm gonna make another one, because I'm stressed out. Okay. It's beautiful, but it's breaking. So I'm gonna eat some, because it looks good. Cheers. This is definitely the most traditional kimbap. So if you want to know what like traditional kimbap tastes like, make this one, okay? It's so good. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so sad because it's like pretty, but it like breaks. I mean, it's so pretty. Anyway, that's how you make this. Yeah, hope you try this out. All right, you guys, so now we are ready for recipe number three. We're gonna be making, again, I have a vision. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm gonna try making like a scrambled tofu kimbap. Again, this is kind of like a vegan take of egg kimbap, which is again, kind of popular in Korea where they just put like egg and like not much else. So we're gonna try it with scrambled tofu. But again, you could use just egg, just like I did just now, but tofu is always the best, okay? I have a little thing of tofu here, so I'm just gonna heat this up. Add a little oil, mm-hmm. And then I guess we can just crumble it, okay? Just gonna crumble with your fingers. Oh, this is very firm, okay. I'm using extra firm tofu, by the way. There we go, we're gonna cook this up a little bit, and then we can add the seasonings. All right, guys, so the tofu has cooked quite well. It's actually kind of turning a little yellow. So now we're gonna add in a little bit of my scrambled tofu seasoning. I don't know if you guys have ever tried my scrambled tofu seasoning. It's basically a seasoning mixture of spices that I make so that whenever I make scrambled tofu, my life is easier. So I basically like to add it to my scrambled tofu every single time. That way I don't want to take out like 15 different spices. You guys know the drill. If you want the recipe for this, I'll link it down below. So now you guys, I'm just going to place this in a bowl. Uh, because now it's like, I feel like it's too, it's it's not gonna stay together. So, we're gonna add vegan mayo. Mm-hmm. I don't know, generous amount, if you will. Mix that, and that should kind of help it stay a little bit more together. And it also add some delicious flavor. And we're pretty much ready to roll. I'll show you guys what else I'm gonna add into the roll. Mm-hmm, now we know the drill. So I heated the rice up a little bit to make it a little bit easier to um, work with and it worked. So if you are making this and the rice is too cooled down, just heat it up a little bit in the microwave to make it a little bit easier to work with because otherwise it'll kind of harden. Here we go, beautiful. And now we have that lovely vegan egg. Ooh, mm-hmm. Once again, hopefully I'm not overfilling this. Here we go. And now I'm gonna add some avocado. I feel like it would go well with avocado. And hopefully I'm right. I mean, you can't go wrong with avocado, right? So, okay, here we go. Now we're gonna wrap it. Pray for me, people. So basically, I think the trick is to make sure that when you roll it, there's still some of that rice. I think that's the trick. And then again, you wanna wet that a little bit. Ooh, ooh la la. Here we go, let's cut it up. All right, friends, so I am gonna do a little bit of that lovely sesame oil action. Oh, just love the way it looks, you know? Nice and shiny. Ooh. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that, it's a masterpiece. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at this. Look at this. You don't need eggs. Oh my gosh. I'm so impressed with myself. <laughs> I 
Anyways, here we go. Okay, now I'm gonna try one, obviously. The best part about making these is just eating off the ends as you make them. Let's try. Cheers. That's so good. You could add in one of these radishes as well. That's so good. Mm-hmm. Scrambled tofu and avocado kimbap. Try it out, guys. All right guys, so for the last two recipes, I'm actually going to be changing up the rice just a little bit. So what I wanna do is add a little bit of something something to the rice to make it a little different. What we're gonna add is gochujang, woohoo! So this is Korean red pepper paste. It is spicy, but it is delicious, it is flavorful. So we're just gonna add that. So I actually have about two cups of cooked rice here. We're just gonna add this, I mean, I'm just gonna add it directly and then we can mix it. I might actually add a little bit more of the gochujang. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna add a little bit more of the sesame oil as well. Mm. Oh. And then you have a more seasoned rice. A little bit more spicy. You know what I realized? I got gloves on. I could do this. This is the beauty of gloves. Here we go. And then now we can make our next kimbap. Woohoo! So for the next kimbap, we're gonna be making a smoked tofu kimbap. Now smoked tofu really reminds me of ham and ham is often used in kimbap as well. So it's kind of perfect, okay? So when you make that traditional kimbap, the one that I showed you, I think it was the second recipe. If you make it and you're like, I don't wanna do this whole soy curl thing, you could actually use smoked tofu. If you can't find smoked tofu where you are, I do have a smoked tofu recipe on my channel, which you should try because it's so good, linked down below. Now this is just store-bought smoked tofu. So I'm just gonna cut it up. And honestly, one of the best things about smoked tofu is that you don't have to cook it up, okay? It's already flavorful. It's already like basically cooked for you and um, all you have to do is just slice it up so this one is probably gonna be one of the easier kimbap recipes okay and then we can pretty much start rolling okay oh and I also have um, some green pepper that I thought I would add in the green and the red would be a nice contrast you know it's Christmas colors okay you can make this for Christmas let's roll all right guys so now we have again the seaweed and now we're gonna add our seasoned rice okay that oh I can feel this already it's gonna be delicious my god I'm a genius <laughs> once again I'm just tooting my own horn you know oh it looks so nice I'm gonna do this every time I'm making up now now we can add smoked tofu okay four slices potentially and then some bell pepper pickled radish there we go now let's roll. Ooh. Once again, you wanna seal the deal, okay? Seal the deal. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this looks like once we cut it up. We're cutting this up. Ooh la la, it's so cute. Look how cute. And I cut up really nicely because I didn't overfill it this time. My friends. By the way, if you like let it sit a little bit longer, it'll seal up a little bit more. Yeah, that's the trick. Just kind of like make all your rolls and then cut them at the end, unlike what I'm doing right now. But oh my god, you guys, I'm so happy. Look at look, look at this. I am a like a Korean housewife material. Okay. God. It's too bad I don't have children because they will have a really nice lunch. All right. <gasps> I'm so happy with these. I mean, it's simple, but it looks really good, and I'm gonna try it. Mm hmm. Cheers! Mmm! Mmm! It's not for the faint hearted, it is spicy. But man, is it delicious and flavorful. Ooh! Guys, try this out if you like something spicy. If you don't, just leave the, leave the spice out. You can still make this, it still will be good. So, try it out. My friends, we are finally at the last kimbap. Hopefully you've enjoyed this so far. Now this one, I wanna make like a really green and red theme. 
Okay, so we're gonna basically make a green kimbap, but with our red rice, okay? So I'm just gonna saute a little bit of kale with a little bit of oil, okay? So I just cut up the kale, just kind of like long like this, just very roughly. This one is gonna be a really healthy one, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And I really just wanna cook it very lightly because I don't know, I wanna keep it kinda of like fresh, like a little bit. But anyway, I do wanna add a little bit of sesame oil. Okay. All right guys, that's it. I'm gonna set it aside and let's roll. All right friends, we are back. We're gonna roll our last kimbap. So once again, we have the kuchujang rice. Ooh, look at that. This one would be definitely perfect for like a Christmas time because it's like red and green and it's beautiful. All right guys, so now we're gonna add our kale. Ooh, look at that. And pepper. It's gonna be super healthy. Tons of veggies, okay? And we're also gonna add some avocado. See, I told you it's gonna be green. I know. So we added some kale, some uh, green pepper, and avocado to make this a very green roll. You can also add in some of that smoked tofu if you'd like. That's optional. I'm not gonna add it because I'm probably gonna overfill myself. Okay, hold on. Let me just. <sighs> Yay! All right, so now I think we're ready to cut this up. I am gonna put a little bit of that sesame oil to make it all nice and glossy. I wonder how people put the sesame seeds and like make it stay. Let's just try it. Ooh, that's how you just put more sesame oil. <laughs> there we go, look at that guys. Roll it in those sesame seeds. Mm-hmm, I don't know what's the voice. Now let's cut it, see if I rolled it well enough. It was a little questionable, I'm not sure, it might explode. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know guys, it might explode, it may not. I mean, I'm loving the colors though. Look at that. Perfect. I mean, look at that, you guys. The colors are just gorgeous. I mean, ah, so proud of myself. Once again, I've outdone myself. There we go. Oh my God, guys, look at these colors. This is perfect for Christmas. Now let me try one of the ends. As usual, my fave. Mm. That's actually quite nice. Mm -hmm. The avocado is a really good addition, okay? Highly recommend. This is really good. And it's so beautiful, look at it! Anyway guys, that was my final kimbap. Yay! All right, you guys, so look at this beauty. Oh my God, is this too pretty to eat? It might be. I'm so proud of myself. We made five different kinds of kimbap, and oh my gosh, this is the only video you need when it comes to making vegan kimbap. Okay. Anyways, I really hope you guys try these out. Let me know which one you are most excited to try out first. Once again, all of the recipes, ingredients, and everything will be in a blog post linked down below, so don't forget to check that out. And um, I hope you guys make these. These are so fun, and they just look so pretty and yeah they're really fun to eat and they are delicious i promise anyway guys thank you so much for watching make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe for more easy vegan recipes and make sure you follow me also on instagram and tiktok at cheap lazy vegan and i will see you guys in my next video bye